Okay, right here is a 1975 International Huff H400 front end loader. This is a Series C model. The H400 was first introduced in 1964 as the A model. It was developed from the company's D500 dozer. And when this loader was introduced, not only was it the largest loader from International at that time, but it was also the company's first loader to feature an articulated frame. Later on in 1969, the H400 was upgraded to the B model, and then in 1973, the upgraded Series C model, which is what you're looking at right here, was introduced. And one of the improvements that was made to the C model was both boom arms and drivetrains were strengthened. Now when this loader was first introduced, it was rated at 10 cubic yards capacity. However, the upgraded Series C model received an increase in bucket capacity up to 11 cubic yards standard for this loader. The H400 features Z-bar linkage. You can see the two bucket cylinders up top, which connect to the two big linkage arms. And here you can see where the linkage arms connect down to the two push rods. And this is what will curl the bucket in or out. And right here you can see where one of the lift cylinders is to raise and lower the loader arms. This right here is the swing lock. This is so if you're transporting the loader, you would swing this big bar over and pin it into this spot. This is so the loader can't swing to the left or right when it's being transported. And right here on the side of the machine, you can see the decal for the lubrication chart. You can see where it says H400 payloader. And this shows where all the lubrication points are on the machine. Now right here is probably one of the most unique design features with this big loader. Take note that the operator's cab is positioned on the front section of the loader. Unlike most loader manufacturers who would design their loaders to have the operator's cab mounted on the back section of the loader. There was a reason behind this design and it was due to an operator survey that International did, which showed that operators favored the cab location on the front section of the machine. Now we're going to go up inside the operator's cab in a little bit, but first let's go back and check out the powering system on this machine. The big H400 was available with Cummins or Detroit Power, depending on what the customer preferred. And the Cummins engine definitely turned out to be more favorited for this machine. The engine you see under the hood is a Cummins VT1710. It produces 580 horsepower, and that was the standard Cummins engine for this big loader. This produces 160 more horsepower than on the A model, and 80 more horsepower than the B model. Right here you can see the massive superstructure on the loader. And if you look up top on the side of the hood, you can see where it says 400 Series C. And on the back of the loader right here, you can see the rear counterweight to provide balance for the loader. Now, let's go up inside the operator's cab, and I'll show you the control setup on this machine. From here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the H400. Okay, these two hand levers that you see out in front here on the left side control the transmission. This first hand lever is for your direction. Okay, forward, neutral, and reverse. The second hand lever you see right here is for your speeds. First gear, neutral, and second gear. Now out in front here on the dash, you can see all the gauges to monitor the loader when it's running. This right here is the fuel, the battery, the converter oil temperature, the air pressure, and if you look over here on the right side you can see two more gauges for the hydraulic oil pressure and the transmission clutch pressure. And these two big hand levers that you see on the right side here control all the functions of the loader in the front. One to pick the loader arms up and down and the other to curl the bucket in or out. 
and from here you can get a crystal clear operator's view if he were running an H400C. Okay, now if you look on the back section of the loader, this big round tank you see mounted right behind the operator's cab is the hydraulic oil tank. And this machine has two air intakes and air cleaners. And as you can see, they are mounted on each side of the hood. And you can also see the two big exhaust stacks. Now, if we go over on this side, now the fuel tank on the H400C is located below the engine house. And right here you can see where the two sections of the loader are pinned together and where the articulated steering is, one cylinder on each side to turn the loader left and right. Again, this was the first time that International designed an articulated steering rubber tire wheel loader. The H400 was a very popular big loader for mining and quarry operations in its heyday. And International also offered the H400C in a high lift configuration which allowed the loader to gain an additional two and a half feet of boom height to clear and load 85 to 100 ton class trucks. And probably two of the biggest rivals for International's H400 loader included Caterpillar's 992 and also Clark Michigan's 475 model. Finally, in 1981, production ended for the H400C after numerous units had been built and put into service all around the world. But there she is, a 1975 International Huff H400 Series C.